Palliative care has an image problem. Both the public and referring clinicians continue to think of it as end-of-life care, in other words, based on prognosis. They think it's just a step before hospice. What's the problem with this misperception? It prevents people who need palliative care from getting palliative care. One solution, those who practice palliative care should become expert at defining it and messaging it. This requires that you don't unintentionally say things that continue the misperceptions. Tips and techniques can help. This video focuses on avoiding misperception when interviewed by the press, but the lessons should be equally applied to any conversation about palliative care that veers off track. Since palliative care is misunderstood, the questions a reporter asks almost always focus on the end of life. Unfortunately, clinicians typically give very direct answers, but these tend to just underscore the misperception. This is where expert pivoting and bridging come in. Pivots and bridges are phrases and responses that pivot the direction of the conversation and bridge to the message you actually want to convey. Watch how some clinicians do this. Okay, Dr. Beck, how is palliative care and hospice different? Well, hospice is really specifically focused on the end of life, whereas palliative care is meant for any stage of a serious illness, any age of a patient and any stage of a serious illness. So palliative care can start at the very beginning of a serious illness, and the benefits actually help people through their entire course of illness, and some of those people are even cured. Being able to pivot and bridge in a media interview or even a regular conversation is one of the most effective ways to improve the interview and to provide positive, more accurate information. Like most people, reporters approach an interview with a preconceived notion, like palliative care and hospice care is one thing because everybody refers to it as one phrase. So the job of palliative care clinicians is to dissuade them of that misconception without criticism. If they're interviewing us about palliative care, we want them to write about palliative care, not about what it's not, and not about hospice and end-of-life care, but about palliative care. So how do people benefit from hospice and palliative care at the end of life? What does this team do? There are a lot of things in your question there. And I would say, uh, you know, first off, when you're talking about end of life, I think hospice is ideal for that. But we're talking about palliative care, and that actually applies to people at any stage in a serious illness, including when they're first diagnosed or when there might be, you know, a flare up or a relapse, including people that may actually be cured while they're undergoing their testing and their treatment for the serious illness the palliative care team is there to help them manage their symptoms to help them support uh, the caregiver to meet all their practical and other needs so they're living their best life even with a serious illness so i'd like to focus for a minute on the final years and the final moments of, of life with an emphasis on palliative care how, for example, does someone with terminal cancer get this type of care? So I appreciate that you made a distinction between years and minutes. And I would say, um, for example, with a, a patient diagnosed with cancer, they very well may live for years. They may even be cured and survive for many years. But during that time, they're going to encounter potentially pain and symptoms related to their illness, related to the treatment for their illness. And the palliative care team can help manage those. Isn't it really kind of the same as hospice? Palliative care is its own thing. Um, it, is, it is for people at any point and at any stage in a serious illness. And it can be provided along with curative treatment. Oh, so it's not just for people who are dying. It is for people with a serious illness who have, it's based on people's needs, not their prognosis. How do people benefit from hospice and palliative care at the end of life? So hospice and palliative care are two very different entities. They're two very different disciplines. 
Bridging is a technique of addressing difficult topics by refocusing the question back to your core discussion items. You quickly acknowledge the problem and then seamlessly move to talking about a strength that counterbalances any potential weaknesses. The key idea here is to end each of your responses to a journalist's questions or comments on a positive note. This keeps you on message and minimizes the likelihood of an awkward follow-up question. Do this by answering the question you want to answer, not the one you were asked. Start by giving a short response to the question, like, let me just say, or what really matters here is, or what I do know is, and then bridge to your positive message. Try using the following phrases. Actually, in fact, I want to be absolutely clear on the difference between the two. I'm glad you raised that point. The real issue here is, it's important to remember. Let's watch some of these phrases in action. I want to be absolutely clear that palliative care is specialized medical care that focuses on living with a serious illness. It's important to remember that palliative care is specialized medical care for those living with a serious illness. Actually, palliative care is specialized medical care that focuses on living with a serious illness. Use pivots and bridges to improve your interview and conversations by redirecting to the actual point you're trying to make. Try not to repeat the language that negatively impacts the correct meaning of palliative care. And above all, stay on message. 